If you're just joining us here, the eight things you need to know today. A candlelight vigil and walk has been planned for a New Hampshire teen found stabbed to death in Lebanon, Maine last weekend. Three people have been charged with killing 18-year-old Aaron Wilkinson of Madbury. They allegedly dumped his body some 23 miles away from the crime scene. Also in New Hampshire, the jury will be back for a second day of deliberations in the trial of former Kittery karate instructor Seth Mazalia. He is charged with killing UNH student Lizzie Marriott. We'll be sure to bring you that verdict if the jury makes a decision today as soon as we get it. And here at home, a very special welcome back ceremony at the Augusta Armory for a small group of soldiers with the National Guard's 133rd Engineer Battalion. Some 167 soldiers with the group are coming back home from their deployment in Afghanistan. And Governor LePage will be in Portland this afternoon with a big announcement, a $2.5 million grant from the federal government to benefit academically at-risk students. Learning Works after school programs will use the funding for more than 300 students in grades 2 through 5 in 6 Portland and South Portland schools. Continuing the eight things you need to know today, Representative Shelley Pingree will also be in Portland this afternoon joining environmentalists and fishermen to discuss the impact of ocean acidification on the Gulf of Maine. Pingree is backing a bill in Congress that would require the NOAA to identify communities that have a high economic dependency on ocean resources and how acidification would affect them. Overseas now, as Iraqi troops work to keep the extremists out of Baghdad, President Obama asking Congress to approve $500 million for training and weapons for rebels in Syria. The terror group ISIS has taken over territory there as well. Closer to home, a major decision from the Supreme Court ruling that buffer zones around reproductive clinics in Massachusetts is unconstitutional. The decision could now have an impact on a pending lawsuit here in Maine. There is a similar zone around the Planned Parenthood here in Portland. And finally, good news, if you are looking to get an iPhone, you may want to head to Walmart. Starting today, they are cutting the price for 16 gigabyte 5S and 5C iPhones. That is if you sign a two-year contract. The 5S will cost $99. The 5C will be $29. Those prices only available in stores, though. Matt?